Welcome to our Tunifotronic showroom. Did you know that Tunifotronic, which is a tool set used by aluminum manufacturers to program driver in their production line, that this tool set can also be used by installers and maintenance teams in order to program data in the installation in the field? If not, this is a session for you to join. So just imagine that um, installation in a DALI network has been completed, so all the commissioning has been done, and then finally you find out that some of the data programmed in the driver is not matching your expectations. So, for example, CLO is missing, or the setting in the emergency lighting is not according to specifications. So what do you do now? Disassemble the luminaires and send back the driver to the luminar manufacturer or to the distributor and ask them for reprogramming? There must be smarter ways to do so, and definitely there are. In order to showcase this scenario to you, I just assembled a little DALI network consisting of four OT drivers, and all you need to do in order to read and write data to these drivers is just connect a DALI magic to a DALI line. The DALI magic is then connected via USB to your computer. In a computer, you run Tunifotronic production. Let's now assume that you already created a production file or, especially in the case that the drivers are password protected, you've been sent a production file from your aluminum manufacturer or your distributor. Then next step is to read the production file in the Tunifron production and then you simply pick the correct or the, 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 the driver that you're going to program from the DALI line by just going on additional um, DALI options, selective programming, and just scan the DALI bus for available drivers. As you can see, there have been four drivers detected, the four that you see here. If you need to know who's who, you simply click on any of them and say blink. This will just switch on and off the light so you can identify the luminaire easily then in your installation. And finally, if you decided which driver to take, you say you select it and you say program. This is now programming the data from production file to your driver identified by the DALI address number two. So in the summary tab, you can see the data that has been programmed coming from production file. And in the report, you just get a traceability of the programmings that you applied to your driver, including the serial number of the specific driver you've been programming. So of course, you also can read back the data from your driver. So by this, you simply close the window, go on Read ECG. Again, you say go to address mode. You remember the, the, the short address that we've been programming is number two. Of course, you can search again, but let's enter the two immediately. You say start. And this is now reading out the driver with the short address number two and creating a so-called readback file that you can then can use and further process in the Tunifotronic um, configurator. You say open. And this will open your browser directly with the data imported from your driver when reading the driver. So in here you see the, the, the output current of been programming and let's assume now that you would like to modify some data in here. So like I said before, maybe the constant lumen um, was not as expected. So let's enable the constant lumen like this and then all you do is just you create a new production file by saying download. Say download. And this is now creating a new update production file 
including the constant lumen output. And the downloaded file, if you just double click on the downloaded file, automatically it will open the tuner for Tronic production again. And you now just simply go on additional DALI options again. You just pick the driver with the DALI short address number two. And you say program. and also constant lumen has been programmed with two steps here. So this is how to read and write data in a DALI network without doing any disassembly of drivers just by addressing the drivers due to their DALI short address using our Tunifotronic suite. Not all drivers are connected in DALI network. So there are DALI drivers used in a standalone luminaire where the DALI bus is just connected to some controls inside luminaires. There are on-off drivers which don't have a DALI interface at all. So how do you connect these drivers or how do you program these drivers in the field? The solution is NFC. So these drivers will have an NFC interface and of course also the tuner is able to program drivers via NFC. Anyhow, standard NFC readers with USB interface may not be the best choice for applications in the field. So you cannot walk around with a PC in your lab and try to reach out to luminaires just with a reader in your hand connected via a USB cable to your computer. So for this, we implemented a reader from FIKE, which is EcoSmart, and this one transmits the data via Bluetooth to your computer and reads the data, of course, then via NFC from your driver. Let me showcase this to you. In Tuner Photonic Production, we simply go to Tools, we switch the programming interface, not using the Dali Matching anymore, but now switching to the EcoSmart. And then we simply go on Read Device, but this time we're going to read the device with EcoSmart. So just say Read, waiting for, P for an ECG, go on the driver via NFC. You see it's way faster, by the way, like reading with DALI. And then you simply say open again and you will see the data directly then again transmitted to the cloud. And since I was just programmed before the constant lumen, you can also see the constant lumen has been programmed correctly. So all information I was sharing today, of course, you can find on our website. If you scroll down here, you see a section with the software downloads. You see a section with the manuals, where you also can get the order codes for equipment if needed. And last but not least, down here, there are a set of tutorials with join-in videos that teach you step-by-step -step how to use the different tools. So, hope you enjoyed the session today and see you next time.